In this topic, we need to learn what is work done. As we already learned that force is a measure of gripping, pushing, pulling in Newton. So that's force. And now we are going to learn how can a force do work. Work is done when a force moves an object through a distance. Saying, if I'm holding the pen, keep giving it forces, lifting it up, I use my force, my force is going up, and the pen, it goes up of certain direction, of certain distance, I'm doing work on the pen. So from the definition itself, we can deduce that the formula is work done equals to force times distance moved. And the Einstein unit is Newton times meter. And we call that drew as well. Short form, you can write a J. Okay. So three conditions there are to have a work done. Number one, there must be a force on the object, of course, because force times distance. Number two, the object must move. If I'm keep giving force on the pen, but the pen never move, never move. I'm just holding onto the pen and I'm not doing any work. It means when I carry a bucket of water, without leaving the water up, I walk on a flat road. I'm not doing work. But same the situation, I'm carrying a bucket of water. If I'm climbing upstairs, my force, I'm lifting the bucket up, is going up. My distance going upstairs, then there will be work done. So lastly, the direction move must in the same direction of force. Then there will be work done. And then you can apply the formula over here. Over here. Work done equals to F force times distance D. They must be a force. The object must be moving. The direction of the force and the direction of the object moving must be the same. When you have the three conditions, you can calculate work done. And then work done is in Newton meter or in joules.